Good morning. Psalm 139 says this, You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. And for some people, uh, that's quite a disturbing thought. And for other people, it's quite a hopeful one. I don't know how you approach Psalm 139 uh, and that thought that God knows everything about us. Does that make you feel comfortable or does that make you feel really uncomfortable? It depends, I suppose, what you've done uh, and also in terms of your relationship with God and who you think God is like. Uh, for some people, uh, they feel that God is is angry or fierce or difficult or uh, many other different aspects uh, that uh, perhaps they attribute from their own experiences from childhood. But God isn't like that. The idea uh, in scripture that God knows us is something to do not with wanting to tell us off, but actually to do with intimacy. The intimacy of having a God who's not far away, but is close by. And for some people, uh, God is often seen as the kind of watchmaker God who wound up the universe and then went off and did something else. Whereas the Bible very clearly talks about relationship in terms of our faith and the need to come uh, into the presence of God because God wants to be in our presence and we should want to be in, in his presence as well. And his desire to do that comes, of course, through uh, Jesus uh, and Jesus coming and his death on the cross and so uh, those two things gather together um, uh, the desire of God and the actions of God allow us to have that kind of relationship with God and a relationship that really knows us uh, and <laughs> amazingly is not put off by knowing us um, and also that we have a God who knows us in a way that that he comes to us and he listens to us. Jesus, when he was uh, teaching his disciples to pray, said this, he said, when you pray, do not pray like the hypocrites who love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they've received their reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door and pray to your father who's unseen. Then your father who sees what's done in secret will reward you. And when you pray, don't keep on babbling like the pagans do, for they'll think they'll be heard for their many words. Do not be like them. And it says this, this is a really important part. Your father knows what you need. You see, the idea that God knows us isn't about prying or spying, it's about answering and knowing our heart's needs, heart's desires and heart's hopes. So this morning, I encourage you to pray, to come, to seek and to be in the presence of God, not because he wants to tell you off, but because he knows and he wants to touch your life today. Let's pray. Father, thank you for this time we share at the beginning, in the middle or the end of the day when we can learn something about your great love for us. We can pray because you hear our prayers, you know our hearts and you know everything about us and you love us even so. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.